that leads to the cellar. When you could stand up in the cellar, that's where there's a, a well. That's a big old space oh, yeah. underneath, isn't it? Are we okay? That's the garden rail. Right? That's the way down into the cellar underneath. Yeah. Pit. Everything would be emptied into the pit. And then emptied out. That's what I was on about. Fireplace and toilet. I know we don't do that today, do we? Thankfully. <laughs> but there again, it was in all in 1480. Just get old beans. These beans are a proper job on these, isn't it? It's a st newel staircase that goes up to the other levels. Oh, this is this is the west range, which was restored in the 80s, 1980. Yeah, that's what it says. So almost everything was rotten there. That was all rock, so they had to cut the rock away yeah. and put the good bit in, but keep as much as they could. I did a little bit of excavation in here once. Really? Yeah. Well, this is the West Range. It's known as the Lodging Range because important people lodged here. Is this all? Is this what? It was Yes, that's the door and bottle. Shows you the construction. This was on the outside of the door. Yeah. And then it's brought in oh, okay. to serve um, for this area. Oh, yeah. sort of like. and, and it still serves yeah. as a kind of fire exit or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. This is the range that. The west, did you say the west? This is the west range. The west. Your grandfather, of course, the, the friends just left it. I mean, they did the best, so it didn't collapse. But this was a project that was beyond them. And it was only done in, what, 1980, finished in 1984. And the Duke of Gloucester came. And there was a big do in the Great Hall, the luncheon and so forth. But this is, this is now the school area. They do have other meetings. And the school kids use it. Well, I remember coming in here once, and I dug up. I dug up the foundations for, say, a, a wall, and there was stone on big flat pieces of ironstone. And the further you got down, the bigger the pieces of stone. So you could start. You'd start with a little one at the base of the wall, yeah. and the, as the further you got down, the wider they got. As proper, well, as proper foundations, yes. obviously, you're implying so, that yes. they were mm. their proper foundations yeah. that they put into. I, right. I, it was one of these dividing walls. Mm. Okay. Now, when it comes to the 18th century, 19th century, this was converted into apartments for people to live in. They either paid a nominal rent or whatever. Now, one of the occupants was the Rose family. And William Rose, who invented the first packaging machines, um, he lived here as, as a boy. His, his company made the first machines to wrap some of Cadbury's chocolates that are named after the family, Cadbury's Roses. Rose chocolates were made. Well, wrapped by Rose and I know, and Roses. Yes. And Cadbury's and I know this is true because I was with the family a few years ago giving a talk on William Rose and they said every Christmas they get a complimentary tin of Capri's Roses. Wow. Well, so, yeah. That's not bad, special. eh? That's no. not special. Well, uh, it was so, a day we had two big heavy um, machinery places. There was Marshalls, which you past some of their works. Well, you were saying that's just past the train yeah. station? Yeah. Just by the station there. Yeah. That was the paint shop where they painted the... For the steam engines. The steam, steam rollers, engines. Steam rollers. And, the, yeah. and okay. as we came in, 
Did you notice, a, I meant to mention it in the car. What came into the town? Yes. We passed a village called Gringley on the hill. I, I remember seeing it, yes. Gringley or Gringley, yeah, Gringley or well, Gringley. Well, pre-war, they found petrol, crude, crude oil. Did they? <laughs> yes. And after the war, Gainsborough was a little Dallas. Really? Yeah, they it's were drilling, on. drilling. Mm -hmm. and the, Interesting. So, there are no end of, well, there used to be no end of oil wells. Some are still in operation, still wow. extracting oil. Petrol. It's interesting, yeah. isn't it? It's obviously something that's substrate. So. According to somewhere I read, for, um, Lord Austin, which was Longbridge, mm. he came to Gainsborough thinking that he could use Marshall's expertise to build cars. Because I used to work at Longridge. Yeah, you did, did you? We ended up with a, we ended up with a mini metro and a maestro. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <I'm joking>. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, wasn't the maestro touted to be the worst car in it? <laughs> <laughs> I did like the metros actually. Yeah. I did like the metros. Well, so when, so what this, they this did say about uh, Longbridge cars, they were out, literally over-engineered. I mean, I was well, a the tool setter, the monster and I had to work it. on engine blocks. <laughs> and I, I had to work plus or minus two thou. Well, consider your thumbnail is 25 thou. So in um, so so in like nineteen fifty then what what state was this this wing in? In a very well, dilapidated it state. Was, it looked as if it was going to fall down. It was that bad, was it? Even up to the eighties, nineteen eighties, when they started on it, it cost three quarters of a million to restore this, which was a lot of money in nineteen eighties. And it served it, it served as the original entrance to the building. Oh, and okay. this was the gift shop. Yes, I remember that style. Oh, okay. Which I per personally liked because you came in here and then you went into the hall. Yeah, yeah. And so, it, the, the, you know, it didn't, somehow it doesn't hit you the same as, no, in my no, opinion, no. where you come from. Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying, but. Um, Farnell Street. It's just still the, impressive when you walk into that hall, whichever yeah. direction you go in. Farnell Street is yeah. where we came in, was the original entrance. It was I, couldn't remember. Yeah. I forgot to get And there used to be a brass thing saying friends of could there? I don't remember. Mm. Well, I mean I left Gainsbury in nineteen fifty. Could that be a lot? Six. I passed my driving test in Gainsbury in nineteen fifty five. Mm. In fifty six I left yeah, right. for a job in Worcestershire. No. As I say, yeah. the rest is history. Yeah, history. Yeah. Met the wife and got there. You yeah, stop to chop the bit off that's rotten and then make another bit to fit in. Now, uh, if if we go, uh, I'd like to show you the the room above the cafe. Yes. Okay. The upper yeah. great chair, but we'll go in a, a, a go up a different staircase yeah. because it'll be much better, I think. Okay. Than going up the newer one. Sure.